Hello again my friends, so I thought I'd address the thorny issue of PlayStation's early access to the Destiny beta. There seems to be a lot of unhappy Xbox gamers out there. Now here's a quick recap in case you have no idea what I'm talking about. During Spike TV's All Access show back in November, Bungie's Chief Operating Officer Pete Parsons announced the following. In partnership with Activision and Sony, we're going to give first beta access to the PlayStation Nation, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3 owners. Now, unsurprisingly, many Xbox gamers feel angry and frustrated about missing out on early beta access. After all, Bungie fans are predominantly Xbox gamers. As we all know, Halo is an Xbox exclusive, and up until Halo 4, which was made by 343 Industries, every core Halo title was made by Bungie. Now, many Xbox gamers say they feel betrayed, unloved, like an abandoned dog chained to a post and left to die. Okay, that, that last metaphor was a tad over dramatic, but you get the point. Xbox owners are pissed. In fact, Bungie is regularly asked in their mail sack by disgruntled Xbox gamers whether or not the studio still cares about them. Here's an example. CD Wheeler 93 asks, do you still have love for your Xbox community? And here's how Bungie responded, yes, we're making a great game for you to play based on the same traditions of action and adventure that brought you to us in the first place. Now, I briefly covered this issue in my latest Destiny video over on my main channel. If you want to watch that video, simply click on the highlighted thumbnail. Now, it was the comments left by unhappy Xbox gamers that prompted me to make this video. Before we have a look at some of them, here's a friendly warning. You will be hearing some swearing. I've also blanked out their names. You see, I'm not calling these guys out. That's not what this video is about. I simply want to acknowledge that there are a lot of frustrated gamers out there and I thought it would be constructive to address their issues. So here's a couple of comments left by unhappy Xbox gamers. Here's the first example. It's fucking horseshit that the PS3 gets the beta before Xbox. And here's the second example. Bungie goes with Xbox for the majority of its life and now it fucks with PlayStation and gives them extras. Now, I get the frustration and anger. Until I heard Bungie's announcement about early beta access on PlayStation, I was going to stick with my Xbox One. After the announcement, I decided I was going to buy a PS4 2 as I wanted early beta access. I covered Destiny news after all and I didn't want to get left behind. Luckily, Activision sent me a special Destiny themed PS4 console. I left a link to the unboxing video in the description box below. But I know that many of you guys can't afford to buy a second console and will miss out on the early beta. And yes, that sucks a goose dick. Several goose dicks in fact. So why has this decision been taken? Well, here are my thoughts on the matter. As you're probably well aware, Activision publishes both Call of Duty and Destiny. This means that Activision is responsible for both these games manufacturing and marketing. Often, publishers will finance development of the game too, and these days games are becoming super expensive to make. Activision Spider-Man 3, for example, costs $35 million to develop, and that's not counting the cost of marketing and sales. So then, making big budget games like Destiny and Call of Duty is a risky business, and the pressure to succeed is big. After all, there is a lot of money on the line. So how to minimise that risk? Well, lucrative deals between publishers like Activision and platform holders like Sony and Microsoft is one way of doing this. For example, Activision's contract with Microsoft to release Call of Duty DLC a month early on Xbox consoles. The latest instance of this being Call of Duty Ghost Early Onslaught DLC. Another example being Activision's deal with Sony for PlayStation owners to get early beta access for Destiny. Both deals no doubt prove lucrative for Activision and both Sony and Microsoft benefit from their timed exclusives too by shifting more consoles. Now, there is certainly no malicious intent from Bungie to spite Xbox owners by giving PlayStation early beta access. It's impossible to say for sure what kind of input Bungie had in PlayStation's early beta, but my guess is very little, if any at all. Bungie's job as a studio is to craft the best game they can for their fans, and their fan service is without doubt unparalleled in the gaming industry. They want to please you guys, not alienate you. And besides, it's not really Bungie's role to broker these kinds of deals. That's what publishers do. And Activision forges these contracts with Sony and Microsoft to help pay for their game's colossal manufacturing, marketing and development costs. Bungie is a studio dedicated to making games and they want to please all their fans, not just the PlayStation Nation as some people seem to believe. Yes, it totally and utterly sucks if you're denied early access to the beta because you don't have a PlayStation console. There's no denying that. I totally understand the frustration many Xbox owners must feel. But sadly, that's just the way these things work out sometimes. 
but fret not my friends. I'll be uploading daily gameplay videos on my main channel so that those of you without early beta access get to see plenty of action. I know it's not the same as actually playing the game, but I hope it will go at least some way to alleviate your disappointment. So now I'd like to hand the discussion over to you guys. Sound off in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on this topic. And if you enjoy the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I plan on being pretty active on this channel from here on in, so if you like to hear my thoughts and opinions on game related topics like this one for example subscribe and come join in the discussion thanks for watching and as always until next time guardians